Yo, what's going on, guys? Prevised here. Thank you for watching my uh, tutorial. Um, so I'm gonna be teaching you how to um, script a animation to where if you press a certain key, then you are then an animation plays pretty much. Um, now this does use user input service, so this might be like a part two, part three of user input service. Um, but anyways, first off we need the animation plugin so find plugin so manage plugins then find plugins then we want to find animation editor which should be on the front page it's right here it's by roblox so just click on that and install it and then uh... open up roblox studio again so reopen that and then after let's create a block rig and then find it then animation editor select the torso press select um, now I'm not going to be going over how to create the animation, uh, but if you want to create an animation, there are tutorials out there on Roblox, so you can check them out. But it's just going to be uh, too long to teach you. Um, but anyways, whenever you're done with your animation, just press press File. Now the UIs, which is all this, this might look all different by the time you're watching this tutorial. Um, but just press export and then create press create new but I already have an animation made so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find the animation ID so let's go to inventory animations and I'm gonna use my punch animation now my and I'm, I'm a bad animator pretty much but I know how to script them uh, so first off let's once we're done let's delete the dummy now I've I've made like two tutorials already, two videos. Um, my first video did not go very well, but I was pretty much done with it. But I felt like deleting it and remaking it. My second video, which I made earlier, um, it I tried. Rec I don't know what happened. I'm recording with Camtasia, but it's like it said not responding. So I have to pretty much remake it. I even tried recovering. It did not work. But I'm remaking it. But anyways, this is the script from the tutorial. Now I was explained. I was doing it from scratch, but I'm gonna explain it so so you guys can understand. Now this is the whole script right here. Now, um, a few notes. Um, just insert a the local script, the local whoops, local script inside of starter GUI or starter pack. Now to in, to do that, just right click, insert object, and then find local script right here. Um, so it does not matter which one you put it in. I'm gonna just use starter pack for this tutorial. Um, so to find the play, no, okay. In every local script, the best thing you should do to make your script not error and uh, just to be on the safe side, what you want to do is use this one, this one line right here. Repeat wait until game players local player character. So what this is saying is we want to repeat this one line until game.player.localplayer.character so that's pretty much saying until the character of local player has been loaded that's pretty much what that one line saying so in any local script to be on the safe side use this use that one line right there now what we want to do is um, what we're trying to do is get a uh, user input service um yeah and then in user in imp user input service there's a event called input began now whenever we to fire this input began we just make this function um input began uses a parameter of input so input is whatever the player has uh input it pretty much maybe like a keyboard um whenever you press the certain key on a keyboard or whatever it doesn't have to be a key on a keyboard it um, it can maybe be like for an Xbox like if uh, you Xboxes use user input service so maybe if it can be like the A button has been pressed or you know whatever so this is where this if statement comes in so if input which is whatever the uh, client or the client is the same thing as the local player has you know inputted 
if the input's key code is equal to enum.keycode.q. So that's saying if the client has pressed Q. Now it it would not work if you do it, if you did it this way. It just it only works if you do enum dot key code dot whatever so as you can see whenever you type in uh, enum dot key code dot you get all these things now these are all kind of keys on the keyboard but there's also other things I have no idea what these world things are um but as you can see there's things for their uh the Xbox like a uh, d-pad right d-pad up uh, yeah so user input service is used for the Xbox also so we want to do Q uh, make sure it's also capitalized. Um, so we want to make uh, to find if whatever if the client has pressed Q and if played is equal to false. Now played is uh, just going to be our debounce. Um, so anyways, we made a debounce right here. Okay, let me just show you guys what it would look like without this debounce. Um, let me just comment this out right here. Um, comment this out right here. Whoops, I pressed R. Okay. Um, so what this would do, it, this would allow us to. Oh, hold on, right quick. Forgot to. This is this weight three is part of the debounce also. Okay. So whenever we press Q, as you can see, we can keep pressing it, and it plays the animation every time. So that's when a debounce comes in. A debounce prevents us from being able to press Q pretty much or to fire the function whenever we press Q. So I'm going to try to explain this the best I can. Uh, okay, I forgot to uncomment this. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try to explain that the best I can. But on line three, we need to find the player. So local player equals game.players.local player. Uh, that's just the way to find the player inside of a local script and then we find the character by doing player which is right here dot character um, right here we found user input service and so let's explain the debounce so local played equals false so a debounce is kinda hard to explain just it takes practice to understand but okay so we're setting played as false because freak is that okay anyways um so played is false because we did not play this yet um so if input that key code is equal to q and played which is right here is equal to false which it is equal to false so it will run everything in here but then we want to set played is e played equals true but it will still run everything even though played is now equal to true because it's already going to be running all of this since it's false so it's just going to keep running this but right here we make a <coughs> variable called enum now if you don't understand what instance is um, if you go on YouTube <coughs> and you search up peace factory this dude has some he explains it he pretty he, he explains it pretty good but I'd recommend checking out his videos so peas factory start from the very beginning which is tutorial one properties then you go from there you keep going excuse me he also has advanced tutorials which uh, I would not recommend uh, skipping so just just don't skip videos I'd recommend watching everything. Okay, nine minutes. Good, good, good. Um, so where was I? So yeah, instance. So just if you want to know what instance is, it just creates something new. So yeah, yeah. You just go watch his tutorials. He explains is that explains that. So we want to make it animation, but we want to put this animation. There's a property called animation ID inside of an animation. So we want to take this animation's anim animation ID and change that to RBX asset ID, and then this is the ID of the animation. So to find the ID, uh, I think I already showed y'all. You can just go to inventory, 
animations and then you get the animation so I'm using my punch and then grab the ID paste it right there yeah and okay so we make a new variable called play anim uh, remember variables don't matter but make sure if you don't know what you're doing just keep it the same as mine and make sure all the apostrophes colon whatever I'm using is the same okay so we make play anim equals char which is the character so we take the humanoid inside of the character and then we load the animation so we're loading anim which is right here so we get the characters humanoid and then inside the humanoid we load the animation which what animation this animation right here so yeah so then we take it that animation right here and then we call the play function which plays the animation so then we wait three seconds which that's pretty self-explanatory I mean wait three you know yeah uh, that's how you wait in Roblox Lua uh, then we wait and then we set play to false so this is pretty it just waits three seconds before we can play that's how D bounces are or work or how they work so as you can see I'm still pressing Q but we wait yeah before we can press it pretty cool huh yeah that's so so if you're not using a debounce I'm gonna comment everything out so we don't need that and so comment that out uh, you don't need this don't need that weight don't need this so yeah that's pretty much it guys um I really wish I was had that other video to publish but hopefully this one can publish but if you enjoy, please like and subscribe.